come back. I may need to fit. Come on, let me raise y'all up just a little bit. Put y'all a little bit closer. Bear with me while I situate y'all. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Um, I am actually. Let me press this a little bit. I want I'm gonna put a pan right in the middle. Okay. So what I think I'm gonna do for now. I'm just, damn it, and that is like right there on the edge. Hold on. Why isn't this? There. So I was gonna do it right here. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it right here, and then I'm going to do it on the edge of this. So, I wish I knew where my stitch in the ditch foot was. I think I might know where it's at. Hold on. I might be back here in my bag. Where is it at? use this bag much anymore. So I have pieces in here. But I don't know if it would fit my mm. oh, here's some thread. Okay. I don't know where it's at. Yeah. At least I'll put it. No, I have got to clean this room up. It's horrible in here. Is it cool to float? Is this a special bitch? Here it is. But honestly, I don't know if it's going to match. If it's going to fit in my liking. I got it for my singer, but it may not fit. Hmm. It may. just can't see. There we go. Okay, well, oh, so where did my foot go? Okay, so I'm just going to do a little stitch in the ditch right here. Oops. I got off. I'm not even sewing. but my needle snap. Why did it snap? Oh, just bear with me. Why aren't you going in there? Come on. You 
you know what? I'm going to take this foot off. I'll just use my regular foot. I'll just be very careful. stitch. Good gummit, I didn't need to do that. see but that's okay because what I'll do is I will go back over I'll go back over and do each side of that so that's okay I'm just kind of tack it down okay now let me trim off this excess here Hold on. And I'm not trying to be up in the camera. I'm off camera trying to do this. So hold on. I'm using my ruler on those straight sides of the hexagon and trimming them off. Because my hands aren't very steady. I'm not trying to be in the camera. My hands aren't very steady. So there's that. It's all nice and trimmed. Now what I'm going to do is get this. I know it's a little big, but I will trim this one. I'd rather it be bigger than too small. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my quarter inch. Of course, I'm going to do a smaller. I'm going to do a skin I think so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim I'm going to sew around each side of these
opening. I'm not right there. No, wait, where's my fix? Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is I have this right here opened. So I'm going to go back. So, same thing, I'm going to use my ruler. And I'm going to trim off all this extra blue. So like I said, I'd rather have to trim than it not be big enough. But I don't want all that bulk either inside there. Okay, so I trimmed them all that blue off. So now what I'm gonna do, where is my, I have a turner, a tool, where is it at? Sorry, it was in here. You know, I have so much, oh, I bet it's in one of those baskets, it. But that's where it's at. And I'm not taking all that stuff out because that's going to be a chore. I'll just use, oh, what can I use? We'll use the blunt end of this. I don't want nothing too sharp. Know what I forgot to do? Hold on, I got ahead of myself. Let me turn it back in right side out. Or it, it, oops, I don't want to pop a seam. I forgot to trim my corners. Hold on, getting excited and getting ahead of myself. Hold on, okay. You are probably you forgot your corners. being very careful not to cut in my seam or my stitching okay so those are all cut and now let me try this again be very careful not to bust my seam okay So I'm just, I have like a turner thing, but it's in there somewhere in one of my little boxes. So, okay. Oh, this is so stinking cute. I love this. Okay, I'm going to go over to the iron and press this and then press these in right here. So I can fold these in a little. I don't like doing this on it. I never can get it like right. I always have a problem. Okay. 
I'm just trying to work this. Oh, that does retain its heat. It's hot. That seam will bust in there just a tad bit bigger. So y'all remember, I've never done anything like this, so y'all just bear with me. I'm going to move my needle over. I'm going to do it over the smallest I can do. I guess it's the smallest it'll let me. Okay. I just want to make sure it catches. right there. I shouldn't have stopped at the corner. I should have gone a little bit further in, but I didn't, and that kind of busted a little bit. of these to like practice on. <laughs> This is mine anyways. Okay, so now what I want to do I think what I want to do is this. Y'all, I'm just playing around with this, so don't come at me. I just want to see what this looks like.
play around with these a little bit more. in my stitch just a little because some of these don't look very I don't know they look like they're just one line I don't like that so let me lengthen my stitch just a little to give it a bigger stitch look I'm going to make several more of these smaller ones because these are really the size that I need See, some of these stitches are really, I didn't, cha I didn't change my, that's what it happened is I haven't changed my stitching setting. I forget the sewing machine is different. I've not done this kind of thing with the sewing machine yet. <clears throat> so, I was supposed to change it. And I haven't. That's why it looks the way it does. But how are you going to know if you don't try it out? You know? Play around and figure it out. Okay, I want to do that. So you can see my little pieces, like my little, my little outside. Can you see that stitching? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of my hexagon. addition where you couldn't really see on some of these sides you can't tell but on some of them where I got off you can Next time I'll do my machine, I'll do it a different stitch. What do y'all think? Isn't that cute? And then my back, y'all can kind of see my my little shapes. I think that is so cute. And what it's I've been on for 27 minutes, so it hasn't taken me that long. But see how I got off right here on the stitch in the ditch, and you can kind of see. But around some of these, you can't tell. That's where. Like this one right here, you can't tell because I got it real nice. So I'm gonna work with that other foot and then like this one. So I'm happy with it. I think it's really cute. And I like 
the way the quilting. I like the, the stitches on the outside. Only I'm gonna change my. I may make another. <clears throat> I may make another one real quick, like this size, because I have the middle cut out. I just need to do all this. So I may make one of these and then uh, strengthen, lengthen my stitch. And that back side look to me looks better. But what do y'all think? Isn't that cute? I'm happy with it. And now I have a little hot pad for my kitchen. So I'm going to make a couple more of these. I need to get better at, I don't know what happened here. It's like all bulged out right there. I don't know what happened. And this doesn't look too bad. I may put a, well, I don't know. Cause it's kind of, so one thing about this sewing machine that gets frustrating is it causes stuff to like flat, like you see how they started flattening out. That's okay. I like it and I'm happy and I think it's darling. Except this. I mean, I could come through here and rip some of these out now. I mean, I could do that because I don't need them because I've got all this stitched in there. So I could do that to make it look a little bit nicer. I might do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So where the stitch in the ditch came up on the fabric, I think I'm going to tear those out that you can see. Just to make it look a little bit cleaner. That way, because it's all up here. Because I don't need it now that I've got all these other stitches. I love that you can see the shapes on the back. I think it's so cool. Okay, anyways. So let me know what y'all think about this. <laughs> I think it's cute. I'm going to have to make some more to... Um, my sister wants some, so I need to practice a little bit more. So I can give them to her. And I need to change my settings on my machine. I've got to look at my handbook. Because I've never changed the settings on my machine. Because like right now it's on woven light. Well this obviously isn't light. So i got to figure it out. So y'all let me know what you think. And I will hopefully be back this evening with some more chickens. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.